Remember when using Reiki energies and such that when such practices are done, well, these must be done while you are a full receptacle of the so-called light energies. Because when you are not, there is quite a little problem. See, your energies have more or less, let's call it a karmic structure. It is not the best explanation, but one cannot go through the whole science alone in a few minutes. And the energy that you transmit to other people holds part of your energy, right? It is fully representative of you. So as long as you're still capable of hatred, you're still capable of all sorts of things, and your mind constantly creates in the background, the point is, when you're not a full receptacle of light and you're pretending to be one, when you channel such energies to others, you're not sending them the so-called pure energies that most of these, if not all of these courses teach you. Never forget, Reiki may be called the uh, way of the light, but never forget, energy is a tool. And like any tool, you can use it for destruction, you can use it for uh, restoration. This is no mere exception. Any energy can be used destructively and it can also be used constructively. Your teachers tell you that Reiki can only be used for curative powers because, well, they don't want people to fall into using it in the wrong ways. But they're already using it in wrong ways because your Reiki teachers don't teach you that you shouldn't be using these if you're not a full receptacle of light, if you're not knowledgeable of your own energies, because if you are knowledgeable of your own energies, you know how and when to transmit, because there are days in the week, there are situations, that are not days in the week, days in the months, when you shouldn't be sending necessarily energies, moments in the day when you shouldn't, because your life is a cycle, a set of cycles, and depending on the highs and lows, you shouldn't be sending or you could be sending such energies. At the same time, when you're still capable of hatred, fear and as such, transmitting those energies to the other person, well, this is no other difference than, for example, voodoo, right? Because voodoo means, and other such practices, mean that you're sending them a certain type of energy with an intent to cause harm. You're not having an intent to cause harm, but still, those energies that are intended to cause harm, they still have a vibration of fear and the such. So when you're still capable of fear and anger and, you know, uh, all sorts of these lower vibrations, when you're still capable of these, you're going to send some of these as well in your channelings or whatever you want to call them. So in a way, you're still causing harm to a certain being sending life energy without knowing how that life energy functions. See, this is one of the ways that these people sell you the course, but they're not telling you that you're creating a very horrible karma on you because you're using things the way you don't know. You don't know how light functions. Reiki practitioners just tell you that, well, it's light energy. The body knows how to use it. Well, the body knows how to use it, but you know, the body will try to handle even poison because it knows what it is, but uh, if it can understand it, it will try to handle it, right? The body can understand and will try to handle certain lower vibes as well, because in your life, you'll also get depressed and as such. You're not constantly a rising sunshine, right? You're not always a sunshine, and obviously, your body will handle lower vibrations, which you pick up from the environment you're in, from people and other sources, right? But just because the body is capable of this, you shouldn't be sending such energies to the others because the moment you send energies from your own, you send them from your own, right? They have your own, uh, let's say, well, they have your own vibration. They have your own, uh, let's say, imprint. So with these, make sure that you cleanse yourself quite well. And even if you do, you're still not fully cleansed always. And at the same time, make sure that you're capable of focusing on positive aspects. But first of all, if you ever want to be such a practitioner, make sure that you learn how your energies function. When you know how the energies of this physical body function, you will understand certain things. This requires years of practice. This is not something that, oh, you haven't practiced anything spirituality related, that doesn't mean you're going to be a good Reiki practitioner. 
your intentions may be good, but you never know how uh, pure your energies are. Because when you transmit energy and you're not aware of what energies you're also transmitting, because many teachers tell you badly that your intention is the only thing that matters. Intention doesn't matter that much. It is just a focus. It is something that keeps a certain connection, let's say, or keeps you active on the certain process. But you always may send other things that you simply don't want. And don't forget, when you send energies to someone else, you might also receive energies from them. You will, definitely. So if you're not prepared, if you're ill-prepared for such a simple process as you might think it is, well, you're not knowledgeable that you're creating a huge amount of horrible karma, because karma means a bondage, right? It is the imprint of any action that you take. When you inf inflict your own energy upon someone else, that is the worst karma that one can gain, right? That is why also those who practice the so-called dark arts will usually go mad or will get up entangled in all sorts of negative energies that maybe they cannot handle and they will go crazy one way or another. See, whatever you do, you're free to do things in this life. You have full discernment. But how you do things and when you do them, that's going to be a problem because sooner or later, things will also come back at you. This being said, have fun, enjoy life, and remember, life is not as simple as you may think. Ferenjian Board, signing out.